In this tutorial, we will show how to simulate the bifacial system in PVCyst. We will go through the different analysis tools that you can see in the educational bifacial window. Before running the simulation, we will discuss the different analysis tools available in the model tab. Indeed, the bottom part of the window is for information purposes. You can see various estimates relevant to the bifacial model and different useful graphs. To the right are several controls that allow selecting specific conditions to the estimates and the graphs. You can move the horizontal scroll bar on hour of day and the values in the irradiance on ground panel will change correspondingly. Also, by clicking on animation, you may visualize the distribution of beam incident irradiance and beam irradiance on ground throughout the day. In addition, you can select among various graph types. They are there for you to consult and choose the graph which interests you the most. The profile angle is the angle between the plane of the ground and the plane composed of the sun rays and the base of the rectangular PV table. Essentially, this represents the height of the sun rays in the 2D cross-section view. This angle determines how shadows are formed when you have several rows and tables of trackers in a system. The value profile angle limit is the minimum profile angle without mutual shading among the rows. In this box, some information regarding the 21st day of the selected month is provided. Note that for tracking systems, there will be fewer illustrative quantities displayed here. These illustrative quantities will automatically change when moving the hour of day scroll bar. Beam clear sky refers to the direct irradiance reaching the ground below the PV rows on the clearest day of the chosen month and at the chosen hour, measured in watts per square meter. Beam fraction on ground is the fraction of the beam on horizontal plane reaching the ground below the rows. This depends on the sun position, of course, and therefore on the selected time of day. The diffuse factor on ground represent the fraction of diffuse irradiance reaching the ground between PV table rows. This is a characteristic value for your system, since it does not depend on the time of the day or weather. Global fraction on ground is the total irradiance reaching the ground area between the PV table. It is comprised of both direct and diffuse irradiance. This box provides complete information for one full day in the chosen month. In this panel, you can change the month and therefore visualize the values related to the 21st day of this month. The values in this irradiance on ground box and the daily irradiation for clear sky will then change accordingly. Here, beam clear sky represents the total irradiance energy for the chosen day. Diffuse clear sky refers to the total irradiation diffused in various directions due to atmospheric factors under weather conditions where the sky is cloudless. Beam fraction on ground represents the percentage of direct irradiance reaching the ground below the rows of PV panels. Diffuse fraction on ground represents the percentage of diffuse irradiance reaching the ground below the rows of PV panels. Global fraction on ground represents the percentage of total irradiance reaching the ground below the rows of PV panels.